Hello, welcome to another Stat 432 video. Uh, this will be just a quick video introduction to week two of the course. Um, I guess what I should have done is I'm starting on the website and because I'm introducing week two, I'm going to go to week two here uh, and just quickly talk through it. Um, in theory, if you read the email announcement, you could skip this video, but wouldn't hurt just to hear this stuff a second time. Okay, so this is week two, which is the week of Monday, February the 1st. Um, the big idea this week is we're going to introduce the regression task uh, in machine learning. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna make predictions about future observations that are numbers. Um, so we're going to use linear regression, that is the good old linear model that you've seen before, um, to make those predictions. So. Um, in theory, you, you, you've seen linear models before, like you should know um, how to estimate the model parameters, you should know how to do inference, you should know um, how to uh, do, um, I don't know, various other things. Uh, you should know how to fit it in R. Uh, but we're going to now sort of be laser focused on, we want to use these models for prediction, how well are they doing at that task? Um, so one thing we're gonna we're gonna emphasize, which you should already know, but we're gonna re-emphasize, is that when we're using linear regression, what we're ultimately doing statistically is we're estimating a conditional mean. Um, so we we'll wanna keep that in mind. Again, we're gonna make predictions. Um, and then sort of two of the big ideas that we're gonna introduce, or it's kind of one big idea, is this notion of using data that we set aside from the model fitting to um, do performance estimation. So we'll use a test, test train split in order to both fit a model and then understand, well, if we were to use this model in practice, um, how well will it do on unseen data? And we'll use a similar procedure, which I call an estimation validation split to sort of do the same thing, but use it for model selection, but not estimating how much error we're gonna have. And that's sort of a subtle thing and we'll get into that. Um, and then we'll, also sort of dive into using the LM function and all importantly, the predict function uh, inside of R. Um, in theory, you've seen them both, but we'll sort of show them to you again. Um, all of this information uh, can be found in the reading this week. Um, here are the videos. Uh, while I'm recording this video, uh, these two links won't go anywhere, uh, but they will after I upload this video and you're watching it. Um, uh, so uh, you can watch on YouTube if that's what you like to do or class transcribe if you uh, don't like or don't have access to um, YouTube. Uh, with class transcribe, I believe you have to um, log in with your university, university credential. Um, but uh, I find this service to be really nice and it syncs up really nice with everything else. So it's very nice. Um, okay, so in terms of assignments, the new assignment is quiz two again on Prairie Learn, like the usual thing. Um, and it's due a week from the start of the week. So that's Monday, February 8th for 105% credit. That is those buffer points that are possible. Uh, but don't forget, you still have another week to complete quiz one if you haven't already for full credit just without the buffer points. Um, and then the other thing this week is that. Uh, we're expanding office hours to sort of the regular schedule where um, myself and the TA will both do an hour on Monday. And then myself and the TA will also do another, each a separate hour uh, on Thursday for a total of four hours. Um, again, if, if none of these times work for you and you really need to meet with us, let us know and we'll, we'll try to figure something out. But hopefully these times are pretty agreeable. Um, and then you can always post on Piazza. And then uh, just a little bit of added information here. I like to, to add just a little something outside of the class for you to read to sort of uh, get um, sort of larger exposure to the machine learning field, maybe not necessarily through my perspective. Okay, so um, yeah, again, that was just a quick introduction to the week. Um, please don't hesitate to stop by office hours so we can actually uh, meet each other uh, and answer all your questions. Um, and then yeah, uh, as always, if you made it to the end of the video, good job, and I will see you in the next one.